the oral polio vaccine, which was invented in the early 1960s and has been used in much of the world, has done a, a remarkable job at largely eliminating polio from this world. But there was a catch. And the catch is that those strains can rarely but truly revert to essentially neurovirulent type or paralytic type. It's rare. It occurs in about 1.24 million children, but it's real. Here was a 10-month-old child in Gaza who had paralysis of one leg caused by that vaccine revertant so-called type 2 virus, which was in the wastewater. And when immunization rates drop, as has happened in Gaza, that virus, that essentially vaccine-derived polio virus can cause polio. And so you find it in the wastewater. And when it causes polio, it only causes paralysis in, in about one of every 200 people. So you can assume that that strain is circulating and is causing a, a much greater incidence of infection. And that child with paralysis just represents the tip of the iceberg. I think any country that has ever used the oral polio vaccine um, can safely assume that, that this particular uh, revertant virus is in the environment. Now, it's not a problem as long as you're vaccinated. But if you're not vaccinated and you come in contact with that strain, you run the risk of being infected by, and then to a much lesser extent, paralyzed by this particular strain. In a better world, we will halt this war and vaccinate these children who are now under vaccinated or unvaccinated because of this social disruption. It's the humane thing to do. I think we will never fully eliminate polio from this world until we stop using these live weakened viral strains.